he's completely sideways. He's going upside oh, he's down. Rolling. He's, upside, he's down. upside down. Holy oh, Holy 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 Oh my god, oh my god. Is he okay? He's okay. He's okay. So are you sure he's not gonna hit us? Are you sure he's not gonna hit us? Are you sure he's not gonna hit us? I got a lot of people that care about me, and uh, it's going to disappoint them to, to hear that I did this. Um, I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Um, just a broken guy, got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it <clears throat> until now. All right. Um, hey, pilot guy, can this thing do a... Uh, a backflip, you think? I'm gonna land it, uh, like uh, in a safe, safe kind of manner. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna try to do a barrel roll, and if that goes good, I'm just gonna nose down and call it a night. Well, Rich, before you do that, uh, let's think about this. I got another uh, pilot coming up, pilot Joel, here in just a minute or two, I hope, and uh, we'll be able to give you some advice on what to do next. All right, Rich. This is Captain Bill. Congratulations, you uh, did that. Now let's uh, let's try to land that airplane safely and not hurt anybody on the ground. All right. Ah, uh, damn it! I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to. I was kind of hoping that was going to be it, you know. Mike here, guys. Uh. You know, today's video is a little different, and normally when I make videos like this, I'm usually trying to find things that we can learn from an airplane crash, uh, or critique what the pilot did well or did wrong, and today's video is not that. Um, as some of you probably are already familiar with this crash because it's been trending, it's been all over the news, but what I want to talk today about is mental illness, okay? You know, when you watch that video and particularly when you listen to the audio recording from air traffic control, you can see, well, you can hear a man that clearly needs some help, desperately needed some help. And this is not to uh, justify his actions. Um, this is not saying that what he did was okay. What it did was extremely stupid. It was extremely dangerous. And he could have hurt a lot of people. Um, but all that said, this is this was somebody who needed help. And you know, watching this personally hit home for me because I know people who are dealing with mental health, uh, mental illness, sorry, and it's uh, it's something that I've had to educate myself on over the years. You know, like a lot of you, my understanding of mental illness has always been different. You know, I've always seen depression, for example, as okay. You know, you go through a, a low time or take a short break from something. Maybe you go through a heartbreak, you lose a job, your business goes south, and you know, you take some time, you take some time and then you recover and you're yourself again. That's how I've always understood, you know, depression or people going through a difficult time. Uh, but there are people out there who are dealing with depression on a long term basis. It's not it's not three months for them. It's not six months. It's not a year. It's almost chronic. And, you know, when I think of my personal situation, I, I grew up in some really, really tough environment, you know, and so for me, I've always seen life a different way or, or, or my perspective on life or how people should be has always been maybe different from the average person or everybody else. But guess what? That does not mean that I'm not vulnerable to this. I don't care how, if you grew up in a tough environment or if you grew up in a really nice uh, suburb somewhere everyone is susceptible to mental illness that's because it's just life you know life happens and sometimes it can deal you a bag of shit and you have to find a way to deal with it 
And so, you know, when I watch this video, I'm just first, you know, my first reaction is, man, this guy's an idiot. Uh, what is he doing? You know, and then my secondary reaction, my humanity kicks in and my heart breaks for, for the guy because he clearly needed some help. And I wish that he, he should have or would have gotten some help or people around him could have helped him. And that's the thing, you know, when you are, when you know somebody who is dealing with depression or mental illness, you know, and something like this happens, it falls on you because you feel responsible for them or you feel that you could have helped them in, you know, whatever way or whatever action that you could have taken to step in to help them. And sometimes it's just too late. And if you're that person, look, it's not your fault. Sometimes people just deal with stuff and ultimately, no matter how much you try to help somebody, it's always their responsibility in the sense that they have to want the help for anything to work out for them to move forward. And it's interesting because I feel like mental illness is not talked about nearly enough. And when you look at the news and you look at the trend, this is becoming an epidemic. I personally believe that it's becoming an epidemic. This is the first time, like I've read more stories about people taking their own lives, particularly younger people committing suicide than any other time. I've read more stories this year alone than any other time in history that I've witnessed. And, you know, again, normally as a society, we just, we kind of push it to the side. If it's not somebody close to us, then it doesn't matter really. It's just, it's just news. And a lot of times when we hear about, you know, suicide or somebody committing suicide, it could be perhaps in Hollywood, you know, some rich bastard just, uh, went and strung out on drugs or, or they overdosed or whatever have you. And, you know, a lot of times we, we throw judgments and we criticize, well, they had money, they had fame. What could possibly be wrong with these people? And the truth is, you know, when somebody is strung out on drugs, if somebody's addicted to a substance, it generally means that they're hiding something. They're trying to uh, make up for something else, an emotion or a mental uh, disease that they're dealing with constantly. And trust me, I know this because I lived in Hollywood for at least two years and I saw some things and I know the type of culture and the environment that people live in out there. It's just some, a lot of unrealistic uh, uh, goals that people set for themselves. And when you think of Hollywood, it's a, it's a crapshoot. Everybody's trying to get up. Everybody's trying to make it. And so you have a lot of people who are already dealing with some type of uh, illness before they get famous. And so it's like you have someone dealing with maybe anxiety or fear or whatever have you. And then all of a sudden, now they have fame. Now they have money. But guess what? The fame and money only expands the problems that they had already. And so that's why you... You see these things happening this year alone. I can't even count how many celebrities you've probably read just died, suddenly just died. And a lot of it is ruled as suicide. But I say all of that to say this, you know, mental illness, it's, it's a monster, man. It's a monster. And knowing people who deal with it, it's just, it's just thoughts. When you think about constantly trying to fight your own thoughts, it's just negative thoughts self-defeating thoughts and it's always hard for for even you to try to help somebody but if you know somebody who is dealing or struggling with anxiety fear or depression to whatever level you know to me the best thing you can do for them first reach out because a lot of times you know people who are struggling with this they don't reach out themselves it's actually the opposite they want to stay isolated sometimes pride they don't want people to know that something is wrong with them. You take the initiative to reach out to a friend, a sibling, somebody close to just reach out randomly. And you never know sometimes, and I'm, I'm telling you from experience, just recently, somebody I love very dearly, somebody very close to me came out and said, hey, I'm, I'm dealing, I'm dealing with this thing. And 
it's I feel like I have no future. And for me, the best thing I can do for them in that time or that moment is just listen. You know, just listen. And I knew that no matter how much positive words or encouraging words that I had for them, you know, it would still be up to that person to process it and actually believe what you're telling them. But a lot of times the first step is just to listen and then try to get them some help. But please, please reach out to your loved ones, reach out to friends, because this thing is, is so common. You never know who's dealing with it. Somebody you can be living with every day for years could be dealing with some type of mental illness and you have no idea, okay? So please reach out to people and, and try to get them some help. And if you're watching this and you're dealing with some type of mental illness, you know, I want you to know that things are going to be okay. I can't say that I know what it feels like to be in your shoes, but this is what I know. Life is not always black and white. It's never that. And I know there's a lot of thoughts in your head that's telling you otherwise. You know, life is not, well, if I don't have this job, if I don't have this person, then this must be wrong with me. Or if I'm not right, then I'm always going to be wrong. Or if the sun doesn't shine today, then the sun is never going to shine. That's that's not true. Life is not like that. Life is very colorful. Just because something is wrong today doesn't mean that something is always going to be wrong. And just because you're sad today doesn't mean that you can't be happy a moment, an hour from now. And understand that it's okay. It's okay to be sad. It's an absolute natural emotion. Even some of us that you think are, are doing life to the best of our abilities, we struggle to motivate ourselves some days. I can say this from personal experience. You know, some days it's just crap and you have to find a way to motivate yourself. And I understand that when you're dealing with something mentally, it's, it's like it's 10 times harder just to find the motivation to, to get out of bed, to find something to do, but that you must. Now, all of that said, Again, if you are dealing with mental illness yourself or you know somebody who's going through it, I'm putting some links in the description that could help. Okay, but please get some help. Don't wait until it becomes this monster that you can't you can't fight on your own. And the fact of the matter is, even now, you can't fight it on your own. You need help. You need other people to help you fight. Okay, so I hope somebody's helped from watching this. And please... I'm asking you to please share this video. I normally don't actually do this. You know, you guys share my videos anyway, but my desire is that more conversation is being had on this issue because I think that it's bigger than what we've always seen it. You know, mental illness is an actual disease. Like any other disease, it needs to be talked about. It needs to be in front of people and we need to find a way to help each other because like I said, it's not something that's genetics or whatever. No matter what walks of life you come from, you're just as vulnerable as I am vulnerable to mental illness because life just happens. All right, so please share this video. And if this is your first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I generally make aviation videos. Okay, you can check out my channel and I upload on Thursdays and on Sundays. This video is just an impromptu because I really wanted to share my thoughts and really share my personal experience on this issue. Rest in peace to Richard. Uh, my condolences to his family. And like I said, I hope you know somebody gets help. Whoever you are, wherever you are, please get help. And life is great. It's great, it's awesome. It's not always gonna be low all the time. Okay, so I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace and love.